We are all at risk. That assessment from mental health experts as the pandemic is now in its 18th month. With no end in sight, we are seeing a dramatic increase in substance abuse, depression and anxiety. Tonight there is help and there is hope. When the towers fell and when the waters rose, Americans turned to alcohol and other substances to soothe their pain. The coronavirus has done the same. The pandemic is, is no different. Um, it is considered a, a disaster, absolutely. Prior to the pandemic, 11% of the nation was at risk. Today, it's 42%. That's a huge increase. So I think everyone is experiencing signs and, and, and symptoms of, of the anxiety, depression, and which for some, it, it could be substance use as well. Recent studies show during the pandemic, more women have been binging on alcohol. That's four or more drinks in two hours. Because of the trends, Riverside Health is expanding its services to include an addiction intensive outpatient program. It starts next week and it will resemble Alcoholics Anonymous. Who is immune to substance abuse? Nobody in our, our world is, is immune to substance use disorder. Shine a light on the hope and healing and suicide awareness and prevention in our community. Another group is shattering the silence of suicide. Friday night at the Virginia Air and Space Center, several community partners will shine a light on the hope and healing of suicide awareness and prevention. So the idea is just to shatter that to and and we created that to sort of illustrate that that can in that moment of broaching a subject with a friend or a loved one that you can shatter that bubble that someone may find themselves in. The annual suicide prevention event is free and open to children and families. To learn more about suicide prevention and the Riverside program, see the story on wavy.com.